So you want to learn ethical hacking fast. I get you. I do understand you very, very well because I myself was once a beginner and I was getting pissed off and I was like, I was struggling and I was like, why does this not work? So in this tutorial or this quick video, I'm going to show you how to learn hacking and what has helped me to learn ethical hacking the fastest way. So make sure that you watch the whole video because I'll be leaving some key notes and very, very strong points that not many, many people tell you. <laughs> So the reality of cybersecurity and ethical hacking, I need to break some key, for, key points for you. You might not like it, but I need to tell you the reality. I will tell you the absolute truth. Cybersecurity and ethical hacking is not easy, and that's why it might take you years or a decade to learn, especially ethical hacking. It might take you a decade to learn to be very, very good. I mean, like master level we're talking about, right? Because that's where you should sort of be aiming for, or at least to be one of the best in... in in the world however but hard doesn't mean impossible right technically it's very very simple if you just follow a certain structure which means learning something every day or consistency i'm a big 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 believer of trying everything and also a big big believer of doing stuff every day to reach a target if you keep going at it every day there's no chance of you failing there's no such a thing if you give it all your best every day there's no such thing as failing at the end obviously we're talking about because you will fail alf, alf. failure is actually good high schools fail you to teach this but failure is good because if you if you don't fail if you go through your whole life you don't fail what did you learn but if i keep going at something and i fail at this second step what does this tell me that means i haven't practiced enough that means i need to learn something or i maybe need to develop a certain key or a certain skill set for me to progress further so you need to keep progressing further to learn stuff to become the best of the best you need to keep learning stuff and keep progressing in some aspects and basically whole field right this is the easiest shortcut i can give you consistency this is the easiest shortcut so sort of another way to learn ethical hacking fast and obviously now this might be done fast but it will save you money is People don't take advantage of the resources we have online. For example, Try Hack Me has free levels. I don't think Hack the Box has free levels, but Try Hack Me has free levels online. I just recently dropped a tutorial about Hack This Site, which is another very good site that teaches you basic hacking, and I'm really sure, I'm pretty sure it teaches you more advanced hacking. It teaches you basic certain skills and it teaches you certain ways how to think like a hacker or an attacker, right? So people don't really use the advantages that we have online. Right, you need to use YouTube as well. YouTube, like for example, my channel is very, very de um, designed for beginners. So if you're a beginner and you're just getting started in ethical hacking, my channel is great for you. Now, another step not only limited to ethical hacking, but overall cybersecurity is exploring. You should set up a virtual machine, for example, a Windows 10, 11, 8, 7, whatever you want. And what you should try to do is explore stuff or try exploit stuff, right? So you maybe try and make a payload. Um, trying to encode it so the firewall stone doesn't detect it. Try and bypass Windows Defender. Try and install a firewall of the internet, for example, Malwarebytes. Try and explore, maybe bypass that, right? So try and exploring yourself is a very, very good idea and a very, very great way to learn as well because it gives you an idea of what's possible and what's not possible. It also basically increases your own security because then, okay, for example, Windows Defender is bad, so the next time I see Windows Defender, I'll maybe say, okay, you should maybe install another firewall. Or maybe if you work in a professional field, then you say, okay, guys, you should obviously, maybe you'll have your own company. You can say, okay, guys, you should change to something better than Windows Defender. Windows Defender ain't good, right? So stuff like that, exploring is a very, very good way as well. I explore myself whenever I have time, I launch a virtual machine and i go out and explore myself because it is a very very great way to learn now something something very very important that is people forget to learn the basics you cannot be a very very good hacker or at least understand what's happening when you do reconnaissance or pen testing you you need to learn the basics you need to know you need to be comfortable with using linux right linux is basically you don't have to use linux but if you use windows i feel sorry for you and you're gonna have a very very good time of hitting yourself in the face learn linux because it's very very easy and it's also much much better if it comes to no maybe automatic almost automating tasks but it comes to when it comes to efficiency linux is much much faster windows is not designed to be i would say efficient it is actually very very slow if i'm doing something i don't like doing stuff on windows because it's ultimately very very slow 
it falls to the sovereign Linux, it will be five times five times as fast because I can edit stuff within a second from my command line, right? Second of all, you need to sort of, as I said, learn the basics. So learn what TCP IP is and learn OSI model. That will help you out as well. Learn what protocols are. Learn SSH, learn FTP, stuff like this, right? Learn the basics, learn what, the, what this stuff means and how it works and learn how stuff works because this will allow you to basically read the source code and then it'll allow you to sort of look for vulnerabilities without just looking for the source code. Another step is, as I said, to use internet and to look for stuff. For example, if you find a version of FTP 133C, which is one of my favorite FTP versions, as, as, as you may guys already know. Basically, it is a vulnerable version, but if you were not to do a simple Google research, you would never know that that is a basically vulnerable version. Now, if you'd like to get a grasp of free information, make sure to check out my video, which should be on the screen right now. Check out my playlist and don't forget to check out my course, which will be in the description below or on the screen right now, which gives you lifetime access to updates and any future updates for the same price. Seems like a bargain to me.